First of all, it has to be equivalent. So if I give you a thousand dollars worth of my services, you gotta give me the same right. of your your product or your service. Right. You gotta be fair. Yeah. In a timely manner. Let me at the end of In a timely, timely manner. manner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nicki Minaj actually uh spoke on this in the music in the music industry. Did she? Uh huh. She said that she had traded off a few songs, but when it's time for her to uh you know, created her album, mm-hmm. and she reached out to those same artists, and they, they like really they slow it. to it. Yeah. They hesitate. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, but bro, I done wrote a few songs for you, I done said a verse for you, and you can't even... Because people are selfish, and that's why I said you have to vet people. You can't you can't trade and barter with everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, and that's what everybody... I don't, I don't trade from. and barter with those that are not consistent. Right. If you're not consistent, I can't. Mm-hmm. If I don't see you hustling on a consistent basis, no. right. And that's why, honestly, with my business, with Caldwell Creative, I I honestly stopped doing full trade and barter because of that. Because I've done some trade and barters where I didn't see, like, I I gave my benefit and they were real slow to, 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 to make good on their benefit. So I feel like now the most, the the, the most I'll do is 50%. Because I I need you to, because I feel like when you pay into it, you're a little bit more invested. And that's just me for my own personal experience no, and my own business. But I feel like when you pay into it, there's a certain level of investment that you have to come out of your pocket that you have to give. And so I feel like you're a little bit more accountable. When when you when there's no skin in the game, no real skin in the game, mm. you don't care. Yeah. You don't you don't you don't you don't you don't G A F. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Not exactly. Not and that's say that on air, but yeah. And that's how I feel about, you know, a few uh, designers have came to me and they don't believe in paying for a designer fees to participate in the fashion but show. Why? But I know for but a you're, fact. you're giving them an opportunity and it costs you money to put on this production. No. Yeah. It, I mean, they wouldn't complain if they were a part of some other big organization they had to pay a vendor booth fee. What's, it's, the same dif- it's the same difference. It's the same thing. It's the same difference. And I, I learned the hard way because my mm-hmm. very first fashion show, there wasn't no designer fees and I had people that was late. Mm-hmm. I had people that wasn't taking it seriously. Because there was no investment. It was no investment. no investment. But as soon as I put that dollar amount to mm-hmm. it, I am fully impressed by those that call me and say, hey, Brie, what's going on? Right. I ain't heard from you. Where's right. the emails? Right. I know you care just as much as I do. Exactly. And that's what you need. That's what I that's need. Yeah. That's what you need. That's what you need. Forget what you want. What yeah, you that's need. what I need too. <laughs> facts. Right. Facts. facts. <laughs> I adore it. Thank you so much for coming out. This oh, you're a, welcome. You dropped a lot of gems. Thank you. And I think a lot of um, up and coming entrepreneurs will learn a lot from this. Well, listen, I've been doing this a long time. I've been in the industry for 25 years. I've had my business, Caldwell Carter, for 13 years. I've been working with Shoe Deal for eight. And and even before I started working with Shoe Deal, I mean, all while I was in college and grad school, I was working retail. And oddly enough, the, 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 because of, you know, this is what the marketing and all this stuff is just is what I was doing, I always... Even though I've never, I, I never really wanted the title of manager, or assistant manager. I was always still second in command. I was always the one that I always came to, and in all the stores I ever worked in, I was always the one that was doing the merchandising. I was always, you know what I'm saying? Because this is what I love to do. Like this is in some way from a fashion. It was, it's just what I love. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I really get excited when I, you know, now that I work with you because I get to marry my love of fashion, my love of retail, plus. My love of marketing and and social media and strategy. I get to, I get to put all my loves into one basket and have a field day. So it's really exciting. But I will tell you, I mean, and you know, me and the owner of Shoe Deal, we've really sat down and had some real conversations because the climate is changing. Yes, it is. It's scary. You can't ignore it. No, you cannot. I mean, you'd be a complete and utter fool if you did. It's like. Watching the news and the forecast to tell you it's going to rain the next day. You go outside with no umbrella. No, no. You go outside with some shorts and some open toe sandals. <laughs> Come on. Why they do that? But you know people in Texas go outside what? and like that all day. Honestly, we all day. <laughs> Texas weather is so bipolar. I mean, sometimes... <laughs> You know, you know get, somebody out there right you know, now. You catch slipping, period. <laughs> you know somebody out right, right now because you know it's raining outside. With some open toe sandals, talking about, 
Well, I can't believe I don't have no shoes on. <laughs> you saw, you saw it wasn't. You saw the, the sky was gray when you left the house this morning. You saw that. You want to pay attention? Ignored it. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. how can people follow Shoe Deal and also follow you? All right, so Shoe Deal, we are, you can follow us. Our website is www. Now, Shoe is not S H O E, it's S H U D E A L dot com. That's Shoe Deal dot com. And you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and our handle is at S H U Deal 997. So, Shoe Deal 997. That's our handle across platforms. Um, and I would implore you to follow us on Facebook and Instagram because we are always posting um, new shoes, new styles. Um, we have the fashion show, like we said, coming up November 9th. And we also have a private shopping event coming up oh. November 17th. But you need to be an elite email subscriber okay you just can't be a regular email subscriber you need to be an elite email subscriber so you need to text elite are y'all ready mm -hmm. you need to text elite to 214-470-6061 in order to get the link to sign up to be on our elite list okay so if you don't go sign up, then you will not be invited to our special shopping event November 17th. And trust me, it is where you want to be. We, last time we had, uh, I forgot, I think it was in August. Oh my God, we had so much fun. It, it sounded like it. I mean, they killing. It was people walking up out there with 20 pairs of shoes because we really have a really nice setup. We get a really nice discount. But if you're a 90 lead member, then... Sorry about you. No. <laughs> so that's shoe deal. And then to follow me, once again, my business name is Caldwell Creative. Um, you can follow me. My website is ccmd, the number one, dot com. And you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram um, and on Twitter um, at ccmd, the number one, TX for Texas. So can you repeat that one more time? C C M D the number one Texas T X dot com. Well not dot com, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's the handle. Okay, you guys make sure you uh keep up with Idora. If you have any questions or concerns regarding shoe deal, you can hit her up or you can also follow shoe deal as well. Make sure you text that phone number so you can be invited to that shopping, that private yes. shopping event. Yes. You do not want to miss out. And of course, you do not want to miss out on the 6th annual Bremore Productions Fashion Show. It will take place Saturday, November 9th at Ooh. Arts Mission Oak Cliff. It's yes. an all sanctuary, so it's going to be theatrical, unique creative yes and we put on for the city so you guys should absolutely I'll come out for my city hey. my shout city. out to triple d hi, hi, hi. <laughs> thank you guys so much for supporting the bring more productions podcast until next time peace lovely yay Woo. wave I'm with the excited. camera we done wave. Yay. 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 we finished that that was amazing that was